try to inspire the creative people with six tips based on my own experience, very simple things, because I'm a simple guy. I'm, it worked for me, so I think it should work for them too, and if not, hey, what are they going to do, sue me? So the first six tips I gave was, the first one was, never compromise, really important. Believe in yourself, give yourself, give yourself wings, Hear everybody, listen only to yourself. That's really important. Because in every creative process, even in turn in an agency, there are 10 people who are trying to kill your ID. So really important. The second tip I gave them was be productive. Do more. And I really believe in that. I don't think it's a good idea to search for the biggest, greatest, most innovative ID for a whole year. No. Just do shit. Take as many briefs as you can get. Be proactive. Or even more important, take the business of your client. Analyze it. Try to track the big business problems, the big business challenges. Find a creative solution for it, and you will have a client that will follow you for three years. The third tip that I gave, and that's really a, a, an important one, you find it in every t book about advertising. It's use insights because we have a lot of uh, aversion against advertising it's always been like that but today the people have plenty of weapons to skip to fast forward or even to ban ads so that's why insights are really important because an insight it's already installed in your mind it's nothing new it's no invention it's true in a certain way it's, an, it's, it's a kind of statement where everybody agrees upon. And that's a really powerful weapon to go through the aversion. Because when you find something that somebody already has it in his mind, but he never thought of it, then all the aversion is gone. And I gave a good example, whether you heard it, about the people, um, when, I take my, my, when I'm washing myself, I go to the bedroom, yeah. I take the shampoo of my wife, I don't care, I wash my hair with it, and then I come in the living room and you have my daughter who jumps on me and she said, Dad, you smell like mom. And then I think, oh my God, that's the inside of Old Spice. Smell like a man, man. That's why everybody loves it. The fourth tip I gave to the, to the creatives in the room, and I think that was the biggest game changer for my way of working, is use the talents of others. I think that's the biggest shift when you compare with 10 years ago when you used to do campaigns with a copywriter and an art director. Today, an ID is born out of 20 different creatives. It's really important and it's difficult for uh, creatives because we all have egos, big egos. So know your strengths and use people around you to compensate your weaknesses and give them freedom. They only will make your ID better. The fifth tip that I gave them was easy. It's debrief your briefers. A briefing has to make you see clear. If it isn't the case, challenge it. Challenge your clients. Challenge your, challenge your accounts. Challenge your planners. It's really important. Challenge the media. It's the only way when, a, when you have a sharp briefing that is a relevant and meaningful, you will get good ideas. The last one was have fun. It's really important. I can smell it when my creatives had fun making an ID or finding an ID. When you see the briefing through uh, an ID, then drop it. It sucks. It's no good. Try to have fun, but always stay relevant. Because I'm convinced and I have the experience uh, that the prices that you are the most proud of are not the ones that you made to win an award. It are the ones that made really a difference in the life of something, of somebody, sorry, that made really a difference in the life of somebody. That are the ones that make you proud. Honestly, when I do a campaign that reaches 50 million people, it made me much more happy than winning three lions. That's it, guys. <laughs>